In this program, we're going to learn how to handle multiple events with just one event handler. We're going to check out several cities in the United States and determine whether or not they are U.S. state capitals. We'll run the program, and if we check Austin, Texas, it is. If we look at Milwaukee, it is not. Indianapolis is. Notice that we're getting the exact same messages for cities that are state capitals and for cities that are not. That's because exactly the same code was written for each of the buttons depending on whether or not those cities are state capitals. So when we check out the code, we'll notice that it's very redundant. In fact, you may have used copy and paste to put the exact same code in multiple places. Atlanta is a state capital, and there's the message box. The same with Austin, same with Boise, and the same with Indianapolis and Salt Lake City. They all have exactly the same code. There must be a shorter way. There is. We can take out this BTN Austin click event and we'll go to the BTN Atlanta click event and add an extra event to be handled at the end. BTN Austin click. Now this one procedure handles two different click events. It can handle Austin and Atlanta both. Let's insert a breakpoint just to make sure this is where the code is executed. We click on Austin, Texas, and there we are inside what is still right now called the BTN Atlanta click procedure. But we have even more state capitals. We can get rid of the Boise click event and add it to the end of BTN Atlanta click. We've got two more state capitals to move BTN Indianapolis dot click. Notice we're going to get rid of the other subs and the Salt Lake City. We'll have five different events handled by one procedure, but they all do the same thing. And it doesn't matter which one of these got clicked. Whatever one is clicked, we're going to end up in that procedure and get a message box that, yes, this city is a state capital. There they are. Now we probably need to make a better name for this procedure because it's not specific to Atlanta anymore. Well, it turns out you can call a procedure anything you want. If we call this procedure cookies yum, it will still work. What really, really matters is the list of events that are handled at the end. So we can call it anything we want. Let's give it a general name that describes what's happening. We've got several buttons that are, in fact, capital cities. So we'll call it BTN capital cities underscore click, a more generic name. Now, if we run it, same thing. The name of the sub doesn't matter. What really matters is what events get handled. Now it's your turn. Try to do something similar with the cities that are not capitals. Pause this video and give it a try. We'll be back in maybe about 10 seconds and look at some additional things we can do. Welcome back. And your sub probably looks something like what you see here with the BTN not capital cities click. And in both of these, it doesn't matter what button was clicked. What if you do care about which button is clicked? Well, now we're going to go adjust the tag property. Every button has a tag property. We can type words, numbers, even characters inside of the tag property. I'm going to put in just the names of the cities. So, so far I'm up to Salt Lake City. Here comes Atlanta. And as I said, you can use numbers or words. It's up to you. Depends what your ambition is in using the tags. We're going to use them to actually pull out the names of the cities to use in the message box. All right, every button that needs a tag has one. The exit button does not need a tag. So I need to determine which button was clicked. I'm going to declare 
another button that does not appear on the form. It's just in this procedure. I'll call it btn button clicked as button. And it's going to equal sender. Sender comma button. We're going to convert sender to a button. If you look in the parentheses after btn capital cities click, in fact, a lot of things that we've done, you see sender comma e. Sender is the object that activated the event. And so button clicked is going to equal that button and all of its properties, including its tag. So now we'll declare a string variable, str city, and it's going to equal the tag of btn button clicked. And remember, btn button clicked has taken on all the properties of whatever button got clicked. Notice we have to add dot to string to this. So whatever button is clicked, that's what btn button clicked will equal. And then whatever the tag is, we're going to put into str city. Now we can incorporate that into our message box. We can actually say the name of the city inside the message box instead of just generically saying, well, yes, it's a state capital. We'll use the name of the city. Let's see this in action. Austin is a capital, and now we actually use the name of the city in the message box. Once again, we have that button that's not anywhere on our form. It's just in our sub, but it equals sender, whichever button got clicked among those that are handling the procedure. And then the property that it needed to use was tag, and then we were able to use the actual name of the city. So... That's a strategy to use when you do care which one of the events triggered your procedure. Now you try the same thing with those that are not capital cities.